And now we're going to continue looking at, uh, we've got mandatory evacuations mm -hmm. in parts Stockade. of the stockade section of Schenectady. And uh, you were looking at some areas of interest uh, uh, along the Mohawk. Other than that. This is a great shot. Wow. We know where Jumping Jacks is and Glenn, yep, Sanders, Glenn Sanders is, right? Uh, that's an area that ends up typically getting flooded during the spring season. And great shot, courtesy of uh, Chris. Uh, the West Gateway Bridge, I believe, it's uh, over on Route 5 there. Uh, needless to say, we had the big, large chunks, Lydia, of the ice a few weeks ago. Now, water and the ice creeping up closer to the restaurant as well as the mansion. High today in Albany, 73. It ended up shattering the record of 65 from 1981. We should typically be in the mid-30s, and guess what we're getting back into as we head through tomorrow? Actually, a little bit colder than that. Uh, 73, the high today, the second warmest all-time winter temperature. We ended up setting that last year, 74, back in the 24th of 2017. 49, that's where we stand right now. West-northwest wind, 14 miles per hour. Some higher gusts still across the region, but we're starting to lose a little bit of that gusty nature of the wind. That wind, though, is bringing in that cold air from the west and northwest. It's 45 at Clifton Park, 51 at Freehold, 51 at Dalton. Uh, 37 at Hessfeld, 39 at Broad Alban, 51 downtown Glens Falls. Make your way back into the Adirondacks, already down to 32 at Big Moose and 34 at Long Lake. Storm tracker, high definition radar, still a few spotty showers across the region. Uh, just east of Bennington, up the hill toward Woodford. Also to make way out toward Alford and south of Great Barrington toward Sheffield. Uh, one also just south of the Berkshire Spur, not too far away from Kinderhook. And a few more spotty showers as you end up heading back toward Delaware County. Broad the view out, cold front is pushed on through. The reason why we've had that big change regarding temperature as we've gone through the last couple of hours, it continues to head out to the east. Cold air filtering in from Quebec, the Great Lakes. The reason why we've got the big drop of the temperature continuing to head this way. And here's our wave of low pressure down toward the bayou. That's dragging all this moisture up along the boundary. And as the cold air comes in, guess what? We go from a April springtime feel to the air today to snow for a number of us for tomorrow. Future cast as we head through tonight shows some breaks in the clouds. We'll call it mostly cloudy, though. As we head through the day tomorrow, in comes the snow during the morning, as well as some sleet, and it quickly departs as we head through the afternoon. Another surge of moisture comes into play as we head through Friday, and it looks like, uh, at least at the onset of the precipitation, bare minimum, we have the opportunity for some pockets of freezing rain. At least as we head through the weekend, temperatures will be nice and back into the 40s. One to three inches regarding snow and some sleet as you make your way from Saratoga through the Capital District down toward Hudson. More as you make your way into the Helderbergs, the Catskills out toward the 88 corridor. Also for the Deconics, the Berkshires toward Southern Vermont. That map is also on our website, news10.com. Click on weather. It's also on Cap and my social media pages too. For tonight, down to 32. Showers are starting to wane. In comes the snow and the mixed precipitation of the morning tomorrow and a high of 34. Rest of the extended forecast shows again a little bit of freezing rain at the onset Friday before turning over to rain 40. Nice day on Saturday. Blend of clouds and sunshine, 48. A little uh, mixed precipitation at the onset again on Sunday, 42. And some nice weather, seasonably mild, early next week. We'll keep an eye on the Mohawk and the Stockade, and Cap will have the update tonight at 10.